Hi, want to know how Europe works? No, it's really not that difficult. Let us explain European politics and show you how we try to make it greener. Let's start with the basics and look at how a European law is made and what our green influence on that is. European laws are the effort of the three main institutions working together. The European Commission introduces a proposal for a new law and the European Parliament and the European Council can make changes. Only when both Parliament and Council agree with the proposal, it becomes law. First, let's take a look at the European Parliament. Its 751 members are directly elected once every five years by the citizens of the 28 EU member states. The more citizens a country has, the more members they get to represent them. By voting for a Green Party, you know your vote has direct influence, so make sure you don't miss the next election. The members are grouped by political families. Green parties from all over Europe form the Green Group in the European Parliament. There's no official coalition in the Parliament, so political groups can form different majorities to support proposals. As in national politics, debates can get quite lively in the European Parliament. By cooperating across borders and convincing other political groups with constructive proposals, European Greens are sometimes able to push policies in a greener direction. But more and more we see that Christian Democrats and Social Democrats strike a backroom deal to form a majority. Then there's the Council of Ministers. Per policy area, every EU country sends their relevant ministers to Brussels regularly to represent their national government. Together with the ministers from other EU countries, they need to agree on a joined standpoint on the proposed law. This creates a double check in European democracy to defend national interests. And finally, there is the European Commission. Every country gets to nominate one commissioner, so there are 28 members in total, including one president. And every commissioner manages its own policy area like energy, transport or human rights. Together, these commissioners manage the day-to-day -day affairs of the EU. The Commission is the only institution that gets to propose new laws, and although the Parliament or a group of citizens can ask the Commission to propose new laws, they tend to listen more to the many corporate lobbyists around that see laws as a burden instead of protection. Let's get to work. The Commission sends a new proposal to the Parliament, and they can either support it or decide to make changes to it. One member, called the Rapporteur, is charged with organising this process. The Rapporteur works together in a team of shadow Rapporteurs of all political groups. The draft is first discussed and adapted in the appropriate parliamentary committees. In this discussion, we Greens try to convince our colleagues of our ideas but also lots of others try to influence from professional lobbyists with lots of resources to NGOs with volunteers or petitions. Next, the Parliament takes the final decision in a plenary meeting, meaning all members get to vote on it. At the same time, the Council of Ministers form an opinion on the proposed law as well, but contrary to the Parliament, they do this mostly behind closed doors. They can also make changes and take a vote. If Parliament and Council don't agree on the content of the law, which is quite often the case, they get together. The Rapporteur and Shadows, all political groups on behalf of the European Parliament, negotiate with representatives of the Council and the Commission. Together they try to find a compromise. This is called a trialogue. When they find a compromise, the new proposal goes back to the Parliament and the Council for a final vote. If they both agree, the law is passed. Officials from the Commission and Member States, with help from outside experts, will now work out the details. This is called comitology. The Parliament can intervene if necessary, so the Greens always keep an eye out on the process. And so you see, Sometimes we succeed in greening a proposal by the Commission, but sometimes we don't. We hope we helped you to understand a little of what goes on in the European politics. The important thing to know is that through national and European elections, you can help steer Europe in a greener direction. 
European Greens will do their best in Brussels, but they need your support from national level.